Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys. My name is Saskia Vanya from 12 Social 2. This is a part of a TOEFL homework and I'm here to explain something I've always wondered about. It's the language that I'm speaking. Have you guessed it? Yes, of course. It's English. About 500 years ago, between 5 to 7 million people spoke English. Now, there are anywhere up to 1.8 billion speakers and that's roughly about 25% of the Earth's population. Around 100 countries in the world now adopts English as their first language or second language. And because of that, many of us Indonesians are learning to speak English so that we can understand them. But what about Mandarin? I mean, despite the difficulty of their writings, China is growing rapidly. Or what about French? Maybe Russian? Or Spanish? This brings us to the question, why has English become the international language? This is partly because of the USA's role as a global superpower. But I'll go deeper into that later. So a little bit of history. In the ancient Rome era, we realized that we needed a main language many people can understand. This is called lingua franca. According to the Cambridge Dictionary, lingua franca is a language used for communication between groups of people that speaks different languages. Let me give you an example. Bahasa Indonesia is used in Indonesia, and Bahasa Melayu is used in Malaysia and Singapore. These two languages are based from Malay. So you see, Malay is a lingua franca for the Malay archipelago region, which is Nusantara. In this case, the international lingua franca is English. It's the language of business, education, trading, but it's not the language of the people. In the 16th century, England started to establish overseas colonies, and I'd say they did a pretty good job at expanding the British Empire. English was taken around the world by sailors, soldiers, traders, and missionaries of the British Empire for two centuries. So, the USA. By the time of the First World War, the United States had become a strong economic power, and its role in the war increased its political influence in Europe. But it was after World War II when English really began to develop. This is because after the war, the United States military stayed in Europe for some time. As the United States grew in power, advanced technology gave rise to mass communication and, yes, you guessed it, the media, American movies, American TV, and music spread throughout the world exposing other people to the English language. Because of this, English courses are now being a part of the school curriculum in many countries. So will English remain number one forever? Forever is a mighty long time even for a language to stay as a lingua franca. Nevertheless, it's likely English is preferred to be an international language for generations to come. Some people suggest that English is universal because it's easy to learn. I personally think that English is very powerful to both the academic and career worlds. Good English skills means that you are not reliant to translators. So what's stopping you from learning this global language? Pick up a book, watch a movie, learn a few words, and take your first steps to becoming one of the nearly 2 billion English speakers in this world. So to end this video, I apologize if I have missed some information and if I had made any mistakes in pronunciation. I hope you learned something new today and thank you for watching. Goodbye!